this is Brian Big Fish Raglan. There's only one. Founder and host. Uh, today we have a, um, I don't know what you would call this, kind of a compilation beer. beer. All right. Collaborative beer. Right? Collaborative beer. Thank you. It's, we have a collaborative beer uh, between Dogfish Head. I'm swimming in beer. Head and Sierra Nevada. Um, now we're both fans of Sierra Nevada, and we're also fans of the Dogfish Head. Yes. So this should be interesting. Um, this is called Life and Limb. Um, it. I don't know really what to say about it. I mean, I, I'm, I'm reading on the bottle, and this seems like just. It's a very unique beer. Mm -hmm. It's been flavored with, um, let me get this straight, flavored with, or brewed with, maple syrup and birch syrup. I love syrup. Oh, I love it. Mm. Hence right. the, the limb part of thing. And then the life, this is a, a living beer. So the it's naturally carbonated. Um, the yeast in it is still active, so this is a beer that could be aged. Sure. Um, we've only had it uh, maybe a month or two. Um, we've just been kind of itching to, to get a piece of it. Uh, yeah, man, I'm, I'm really stoked to try this when, when you brought this over. Um, I'm just, I'm, I'm a big fan of both the breweries, so I'm interested to see uh, what transpires here. Um, I would like to see it, I mean, it, it's like, okay, cool, it's, it's got kind of a maple syrup, whatever sort of vibe. I I'm, I'm, was hoping it would be more of like a like a, a hot nuclear holocaust sort of thing. Mm. A nuclear holocaust. <laughs> uh. Insert mushroom cloud. <laughs> Sierra, like a dark beer. Now, I, I know they're, they're stout, but I mean, obviously, it, it's always about their pale ales and their torpedo, and, and that's what I equate to Sierra Nevada. So, um, but I, I, once again, I, I have faith in the brewers. But you can tell. I mean, look at the the bubble stream on that. It looks like Coca Cola. It does. It looks like Coca Cola. I mean, and this this goes along the lines of it's it's a it's a living, breathing beer. Mm. It's alive. It's alive. <laughs> And like you had said, you know, a dark beer is not what we come to expect from Sierra Nevada. But um, I pointed out that I, I thought from the get-go that Dogfish Head was going to be the predominant flavor and the right. predominant brewery here. Um, and I think that so far the color at least stands true. To that. I mean, it is. You can see through it. I mean, it's a it's a black amber. If I had to like give it some kind of term, it's not completely dark like a stout. Yeah. Um, it, if you hold it up to the light, you can see a little bit of an amber, amber it's, color. It's to red. It. I would even go with like a, like a. All right. Yeah. So it's like a black cherry. Color. Yeah, a good cherry hue to it. Yeah, absolutely. So, and then a really thick, frothy head. I mean, it's starting to finally settle down a little bit. Yeah. But you saw there when we first had it poured, there was like three, three to four fingers of head on there. Now it's starting to, um, starting to mellow out a little bit. And but it's, it's still it's very the glass. Uh, it's very frothy head. It, it just, it looks like a. Like a root beer float. It does. It looks like a Coke float. Coke float. Reading back, uh, reading back on the history of Coca-Cola, I discovered that when they first started, here comes, here comes, when they first started bottling Coca-Cola, all the bottles look the same. So the Coca-Cola company says, we need to have a bottle which says Coke. And there it is, ladies they and gentlemen. They came up with one. <laughs> Happy 100 years, Coca-Cola. Coke float. All right, so let's get the, uh, get the aroma. Oh yeah, that um, oh, fuck, that smells tasty. Damn, it's, it smells really good. But what you can smell the the syrup. Um, it smells uh, syrup. 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 Uh, molasses. <laughs> <laughs> you can smell. Uh, I prefer to get my salad toss <laughs> with jelly or syrup. I prefer syrup. What they call toss the salad. That's the slang word, toss the salad. It means sucking my ass, right? With jelly or without jelly. Some people use syrup. I prefer a guy to use jelly, right? <laughs> I mean, you do get that kind of Belgian-y smell underneath it, that ale smell, but, uh, but that sweetness kind of sits on top of it. And you, yeah, like it's um, a little bit of the yeast, 
that you saw yeah, in there. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Um, but it's it's yeah, it's that mm. sweet syrupy honey uh, uh, molasses. Yeah. But it doesn't normally like a really sweet beer because we're both hopheads. So normally a sweet beer, we're like eh. But I uh, this this smells really good. I I have a feeling it's gonna be heavily carbonated because it's it's still alive. It's alive. Um. God, I just I want to I, I want to taste Bucket. it. Yeah. Let's taste it then. Right. Cheers. Nothing like how it smells. It's um, it has an ale flavor. Mm -hmm. That sweetness that you get from the the smell of the syrup and everything is so muted. Yeah. It's it's rather. It's rather boring. It's it's a brown ale. That's yeah. what it tastes like. It tastes like a nut brown ale. I mean, it's 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 good. Uh, there's a little bit of a. A little bit of a roasty aftertaste. Very mild. Very mild. Well, this is mm. completely sessionable. It's it's really, really good. Mm. Um, I would recommend getting it. I, I think it would be really cool to see what happens if you sit on this for a while. You have a baby! In a bar! Um, age it. You know, maybe, maybe sit for a year or two. I think it would be absolutely phenomenal. Because right now, you're, that's really carbonated, right? Mm -hmm. Highly carbonated. Um, and a lot of the... the dark, sweet taste is kind of uh, overpowering a bit. I think this could be really, really, you really so? good. See, uh, to me, the, the whole flavor characteristic of this beer is very bland. It's very muted. It's very dull. Um, it, it, it almost... Let's talk about drinking a fish. Jeez, and Pete. It, it almost doesn't have a flavor to me. It's... it's I mean, I hate to say it, I'm almost kind of uh, disappointed a little bit. I mean, not that I'm usually a fan of this type of beer to begin with. Right. But, but there's almost nothing notable about it. <laughs> What's the ABV on this? Do you know? Uh, I do not know. Let's, well, I'll uh, put it up here. Flash it up there. 10.2. Okay. Now... 10.2%. Now... Do me a favor. Swirl that around so it warms up a tip to your glass. Oh, that's yeah, swirling the whole thing. Uh, swirl it around a bit and then see if you can, it, it's got that high alcohol taste to it when it starts to warm up. It warms the cockles. A little bit. You start to, yeah, you start to get a little bit of that alcohol burn when it starts to warm right up. Right But, um, okay, so yeah, once it starts to warm, the flavor starts to come out of it. Maybe that's another thing, we drank it too cold. Hey. Um, it's, I'm still, I'm not a huge fan of this type of beer. Right. But if you were going to try uh, a brown ale, um, if you were going to try something like a you know collaborative beer like this, I mean definitely get it out, check it out. But I, I wouldn't expect to be blown away by it. I mean, it's kind of it's just my my final thought okay. would be if you're a fan of Sierra Nevada, you wouldn't be too happy. If you're a fan of Dogfish Head, you'd, you'd be probably, okay with it. Yeah, you'd probably be okay with you'd it. You'd be definitely. cool with this. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm not disappointed that we have it. I, I think it's a good get. Um, mm -hmm. It's maybe I, I don't think I would get it again. No. Mm -hmm. So uh, cool. All right. Thanks for watching.